symptom-based way of looking at people who are suffering. We could do better. And we're the people to do it. Because we've been at it for over 100 years. We've been the people who believe in listening for a long time and getting to know somebody for a long time before we do an intervention. And yeah, we're teased for that, but there's a reason for it. Many analysts will say, I, I can't answer your question. I have to listen more. And a lot of people are very impressed by that. So, the PDM started with patterns, and in the further dimension gets to disorders. Mental functioning, these are pluses and minuses that don't have to do with symptoms. Putting in, I recommend, ICD symptoms. ICD is the way to go, not have a separate symptom category, and qualify it, not with a term, but with a narrative about the contextual, the cultural issues that this person is embedded in. And what I argued for in the research recently happened where they did a, a meta-analysis of personality organization. Now, I'll use either term, personality structure or personality organization. They mean the same thing. Personality organization is genetic, basically. You're born with a personality resiliency, a structure that's either pretty healthy. When bad things happen, you may have adjustment disorders, but you pretty much learn and you adjust and you keep growing. There's a healthy level of, of personality organization. There's a neurotic level, and people could be born with it. It could come from trauma, early on attachment issues. And basically, they have good contact with reality. They have problems with anxiety and depression and self-esteem. They can have very good relationships. They can work very, very well. The level of defensive functioning is high. What do I mean by high? This is something else that isn't taught enough. I'm going to first use a very simple classification. The most disturbed, if I talk about perception, that dimension of defense mechanism, perception. If I talk about the worst level of defense, borderline or psychotic level, it's denial. You have an argument with someone, and you say, you were mean to me. They say, no, I wasn't. I have a tape recording of it. That dates me. I have a digital tape. I have a digital recording of it. He said, I know you can edit those things. I could bring in 10 people that will say you talk mean to them. They're all liars. Now, you've had patients like that. you had clients like that. You may have a relative like that. And somewhere along the line, if you're at the healthy level, you learn anticipation. You don't go there. And in your treatment, you don't go there. There are many treatments that you can do, behavioral treatments, paradoxical treatments, not based on self-reflective capacity. The borderline uses denial, projection, projective identification. The neurotic level will use mainly repression. What does that look like? You were mean to me. No, I wasn't. I have a recording. Why'd you record me? Because you don't believe me. OK, I'll play it. Oh my god, that's not how I hear myself. Listen, talk to other people. Well, I have heard that from other people. I don't like hearing it. But upon hearing the evidence, I can now remember that this is a problem. Now, people usually don't talk like this, but I'm going to put this in for learning purposes. In order to regulate my self-esteem, I repress it. Okay, that's a dynamic language. That's a neurotic level. That is so important in differential diagnosis. It's not checking off symptoms. Man, it'll help you to do therapy. Again, tomorrow I'll get more into this. If someone is, their favorite defense is denial. You can use cognitive behavior therapy, and they'll just say, well, I don't think like that. <laughs> well, yeah, you did. I just heard it. Well, you heard it wrong. Or using psychodynamic, you don't go there with them with that. That's very important to do that in differential diagnosis, okay? So that has to do a lot with, like, mental function. What I propose in terms of knowing the different mental functions, the different um, defensive functions, is to start out with if this person is at the healthy level, they use anticipation. Uh, when they're going home for Christmas and they know their mother is going to guilt and do something, make them feel bad, they say, I love my mom, she's a good woman, she pulls this each time, and I'm preparing myself for it. Someone at the more neurotic or borderline level that needs to feel victimized will go into repression or denial, seriously repression or denial, and get outraged as though, like, 
how could you still be doing this? <laughs> you know, 